Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we are going to compare the DeWalt drop saw that I've owned for years to the Festal Capex that I've been borrowing for two weeks. Not a fair comparison, but just my thoughts. Hey guys, Scott Brown here. I am back on the DeWalt drop saw. In some of our videos, you, you might have noticed a 12 inch DeWalt drop saw. That's Pato's one. I've got the 10 inch drop saw. But yeah, it's not the Festool. So one of the things I enjoy least about the DeWalt drop saw is the changing of the blade. There's all these different things that you have to unscrew and then you have to move things out of the way then you have to keep things from dropping down as you're trying to unscrew it. You have to use the tool and I've long since lost the tool that was part of this drop saw. So I'm getting out different screwdrivers and spanners and I really like the Capex system. It has this thingy on the back. Hey, look who's here. It has a Allen key on the back and a lock button that locks the blade. And then you just undo it with the Allen key and it comes off easy. How are you, mate? Uh, just cleaning up, bro. I bought a flexi bin and cleaning the van out. Well, I'm discussing, maybe you can help me, I'm discussing the difference between the Festool Capex and the DeWalt now that I've given it back. They already know Maru, we borrow cuts wood though. <laughs> That's part of his position, it cuts wood. <laughs> um, oh, the setup. The setup. The setup for the DeWalt stand is much better than the setup for the Festool. The Festool has that for the lack of a better term, it has a cart that sort of holds the whole thing. Oh, there, yeah, that's it. Then it sits in that thing. Oh, this, <laughs> this is really easy to do. <laughs> nah, it's the matter of getting used to it, I guess. You clip on the extension parts, and because it's three parts, you have to individually level everything. We're so used to using the DeWalt. That tweaking this bench to suit the ground is a. Uh, so it's not going to go any further. And nothing short of a flat or inclining surface will do. If you get on a backyard where, you know, it's hilly like we were using it on, um, it takes quite a while to, to level everything out. Whereas this thing here, you fold out the legs and you drop the drop saw in the middle and that's it. And this extends out. The worst case is you maybe put like a little packer under one of the legs and that's all you have to do. In fact, I don't even think about leveling this out. It, it's so simple and it packs up nice and compact. Whereas the Festool had this big cart and you have to get the cart on something. I had it on the top here and it's very cumbersome. So the DeWalt wins in terms of the stand. It's not one of those ones you can like control the speed, like slowly. Yeah, it is. It is yeah. Oh, it is? No, but not with um, the trigger, you know? On the back? Uh, it depends on what you're cutting, it will adjust itself. Have you used it yet? No, I haven't. So this is the next tool that I'm going to try. The uh, Carvex, Festool Carvex. Oh, oh, yeah. Has to be like, see you tomorrow bro. I'll it's see you later. Side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing I really like about the Capex is the way you adjust the angles. See, I'm used to this system here where in order to change the angle, you loosen that, unlock that, and then away you go. Whereas on the Festool, the saw's up here, and the dial is visible at all times, no matter where you're standing. So you feel like you can just stand upright and adjust the angle. See, with this one, I usually just do all my angle cuts on the base plate. Subconsciously, it's because I don't want to bother with this. Crouching underneath it to make sure it's definitely back on the zero. I think this DeWalt and the Capex are similar in some ways, and one of those ways is the dust extraction. Now, it's not, not in terms of position or where, how the dust extraction works, but in terms of effectiveness. My DeWalt one has the hose up here. Pato's one goes out the back. This might be an older version. The hose goes up here, and it takes about the same amount of dust away as the Capex did. You know, maybe I'm lucky, maybe my one works more effectively. But in my experience, they are very similar with dust extraction. If I ever did buy the Capex, I would keep the DeWalt stand. 
But the next question, and the ultimate question really is, would I buy the Capex instead of the DeWalt? The answer is no. I think I'm gonna stick with the DeWalt. It does everything I need it to do. Um, I feel like the advantages the Festival has aren't great enough over the DeWalt. And the price is significantly more, as I'm sure you know. This thing here was, I mean, you could probably get it for around about $1,000. Depends where you go, maybe 1200 And the Capex is, last time I looked, 2300 plus GST. So that's like, it's nearly $3,000 for a drop saw. I'm definitely a fan of Festool. The Festool that I've been exposed to so far anyway, I'm definitely a fan. I use the track saws over in the UK. My vacuum's amazing, I love my vacuum. And I've got some of the sustainers for carrying tools and all that, and I think they're fantastic. And I can see why uh, maybe like finishing carpenters and that would get a Capex. You know, the angle adjustment's really good and the angle guide that they give you as well is great. And maybe if I had the CT26 instead of the MIDI, my vacuum would probably work a lot better with the dust extraction. But for me, at the moment, the costs outweigh the benefits of the saw. All right, I'm out of here. You know, the day will probably come where I buy a Capex and you guys can tag me in this video and remind me of what a hypocrite I am. But at this point in time, buying the Capex would not make sense for me. The DeWalt is plenty good enough. Alright guys, stay tuned for future episodes where we will do a lot more carpentry. There's a few jobs coming up, so stay tuned.